Hi there, signs of cancer. This is Kim here to do your reading. Um, you know, I did a pre-shuffle for you all and I got Uranus twice. Twice. So, I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up and see what it says for it because, to tell you the truth, I don't know everything that relates to that. And it probably, yeah, I knew it was something good though. <laughs> It's not still on the top. Okay, I shuffled. I shuffled. So this is the deck, the uh, Wild Unknown Alchemy deck. And it says, Awakening Brilliance Individualism. Um, when Uranus strikes, we're in for a surprise. Not in the outer world, but in ourselves. So <clears throat> it's a surprise energy that appears within you it could be a long awaited aha moment or that sudden stroke of genius that epiphany um sudden brilliance is what i'm getting sudden brilliance individualism okay a seemingly ran random or idiosyncratic Quality may end up being the secret ingredient needed in the lab. This radical energy isn't sustainable. Yes, it is a firefly kind of energy. It is a like poof of energy. Okay, so yeah, we're still gonna pull, <clears throat> but yeah, I thought that was really good. All right, messages, messages. You know. I did that in the pre-shuffle too. Candle went out prematurely. Had to light it again. Same thing. It's like deja vu with this reading. All right, Cancer. Yeah, this is how your reading's making me feel. Like I'm in a fog. Like I'm in a fog. Like something is hazy. Now, I don't know if... If you're like me, I love seeing the fog over the piers, especially in the ocean. Oh, gosh, it can look so creepy, and it's awesome. And I love it. And this is rising above sublimination. So it's like I'm getting up and out of here. I'm rising above. I'm ready to taste the sweet things in life careful with your blood sugar too though <laughs> no even if you're not diabetic you don't want the blood sugar to get to go crazy all day long <clears throat> um it can leave it can truly too high of sugar can leave you in a fog very quickly <laughs> maybe it's not that but but this is the sweet things um those sweet things in life the sugar and Santosis. <sighs> is it old sugar? Old sugar will clump together and it might turn yellowish looking, right? Hmm. Something is not so sweet anymore. It's turned yellow. It's weathered. It's the past, but it's still around. It's that's why I'm getting a ugh feeling because the site is st you're still here. What is this? We've oh, got the synchronicity card. Unus mundus synchronicity. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so the fog, we talked about that. The, the main thing with the fog is that it does dissipate. It can be that we're on such a metaphorical uh, pleasure high, uh, sugar high, feeling like we are indulging in something high, but it can temporarily put you into a fog, I think. The yellowing, um, yellowing is something that gets really old. Um, visibly too, though. I don't know how else to say that. <laughs> Yellowing. <clears throat> I 
Um, okay. So this is aging, transitioning, a warning. Oh, like a yield sign. And maybe like warning too much sugar in your diet. It says like a pondering transition, leading you into the next phase. Aging, transitioning, warning. Hmm. How you respond is up to you. Likely you even know you. So a deep bruise even finds a yellow tint as it reaches its final phases of healing. This can be the marker of long-awaited growth. Imagine a rainbow with no yellow. The colors would remain static, disconnected. The gift of yellow is the bridging of all phases, the full expression of life spectrum. Well, they made it out to be a lot nicer than, than what I was thinking. And then, oh, synchronicity. Very synchronicity. Um, <clears throat> Unus Mundus, the presiding deity of alchemy, the miracle of your conception. Um, do what you notice matters. You matter. There are sacred messages about how you matter and 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 you being noticing and being that you're on this path. That so there's something really important about that too. That you notice where you are and that the synchronicities wouldn't be there if it weren't very important for you to be present to see them. Um. The miracle of your conception. Synchronicity is the way the world mysteries claim our attention. Something that is sure to stick out today. A word, an image, lyrics, or, or a memory. So take note. Take note. Sublimination. elevation rising the magic of air travel there we go um it's when a solid stuff substance turns into a gas so it rises um mm -hmm. sublimination has a shadow aspect through ascension there's a risk of separating from others a sense of oneself either higher or above this risk is particularly great in a spiritual tradition that offers a linear model of achievement true that's true Service is the natural balancing agent for sublimination. It may be the next rung in your ladder. Ser service. Service. And then 31. Sacrum, sugar, sacred sweetness, pleasure, and attraction. The power of attraction and aversion. Medical properties. It is likely the pleasure you crave. It will not be found from manufactured means, but from the childlike wonder residing in the heart. Remember that like attracts like. One of sugar's physical attributes is stickiness. It's stickiness. It'd be hard to stick to something that's about to turn into a gas and go into the air. <laughs> And then it's like, I don't know, maybe that, maybe that, the fog, maybe the clouds is the synchronicity for you somehow. Maybe. Looks like a corn, no, it doesn't look like a corn snake. I don't know why it said that. Corn snake stuff, it has a pattern. I think, I think I better not even talk about it. Here's our beautiful zebra finding balance. Trying to find balance. Seeing contrast. Majorly <laughs> seeing contrast. We have the zebra. My, it's my favorite um, animal. <laughs> I love the zebra. The turtle, wise, ancient. There's even um, creation 
myth, uh, theories or myths or whatever that involve uh, the creation of the world on the turtle's back. <clears throat> so that's really cool. Oh, maybe you have turtles around where you are. Maybe, maybe you have this this coincidence of the colors, the contrast in colors. Dolphin, playful, but you know what? And it looks like that nebula. It looks like that the fog. Okay, I'm gonna look this one up because I just got this little deck and. I haven't read all of them, and I think Dolphin I have not read for sure. So let me look up Dolphin. I think of the Dolphin as being um, playful. They also say Twin Flames or um, playfulness, taking something lightly, maybe having a good time. The Turtle, Ancient Soul, Grounded, Trusting, At Home, with yourself where your heart is there is home even when you're traveling maybe is the message the dolphin innately intelligent healer light and blessings active healer strong spiritual practice when out of balance you underestimate your own power so you have you are an ancient soul what it's saying is that you're an ancient soul as the gifts of the dolphin are beyond what we can think of something to do with healing <clears throat> and um and sending those healing vibrations to like around you as in that as part of your service just what you just you being you i think it's probably part of your service um dolphin personalities are drawn to the healing arts it says these creatures play an important role in the wheel of karma. Hmm. This card could indicate that a profound blessing is on its way to you. Well, yeah, some say I'm okay with that. What about the zebra? This is a fiery sign. So tell me more about the zebra. eccentric, creative, visionary. Mm -hmm. Being in the company of a zebra is delightful. There may be a hint to pack your bags. Also, global health or environmental health or volunteer work. Again, service to others, spreading your light, being a healing having some being some kind of a healing presence here is important let's pull some more I'm just curious i like these cards let's pull some more what else oh octopus look at all the little tentacles too with all <laughs> all the little tentacles um so, yeah, this is when we get um, into too involved in other people's business or we feel like we've got a hand in this and that and that and <laughs> literally in, in, in this and that and everything. Um, you don't want to get pulled into too many directions emotionally. You don't want to be getting worn out um, with that card. There may be an ending to a chapter and it's, it's saying, you know, hey, don't resist this ending. Something needs to end. You have something very high vibrational here. It hasn't, it's resistant to an ending. That's, I know that because of it being in the reverse here. So the reason why is because the hummingbird with all those beautiful colors, it is a very high vibe, probably the highest vibe. The air signs here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, let's do, let's do one more. So something sweet can enter, literally. Oh, building your self-confidence. You will, um, find your spine, 
You're building your spine. You're building your backbone. Serpent, sea serpent. You are um, the stingray. You're rising above. This octopus says you could be reaching for something, um, needing to set boundaries and direction here. Um, somebody could be really clingy. That could get again kind of old. Um, sea serpent, I'm going to look up right here. Okay, second chakra. Located deep within the pelvic bowl, this chakra is known as your center of creativity and desire. Associated with the water element to Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Oh, look, it says it's healing. Healing emotional wounds and expressing desires. There's the desires. And then the desire to not resist an ending is there because of the initial desire, more than likely. And then the sea serpent is just, again, indicating more, um, almost like playful uh, healing, right? Hmm. Okay, for cancer, what else do you got? Imprisonment. That's what what is going to end is feeling like you are imprisoned. Always try needing to put put boundaries. Put those boundaries up. I don't know. That's what's ending. You're breaking out of this. And it may be, it, it's usually in tarot talking about, you know, the mind when it's imprisonment. It may be that you feel like you just can't leave a certain place. And maybe because you're coming out of a lack mindset or a poverty mindset, you might have like a mature older woman here that makes you feel trapped at times. But I have poverty in the reverse, so it's completely being in an abundant mindset for what you desire. This is what's getting old. The things that feel like we were trapped or like our boundaries were invaded, like there was some kind of interference. Yeah, like there was some kind of interference and it ended up having an effect on what we desired and something that we need to close out. So it is that last stage of healing. Again, it's healing. As I say that, we have the lover's card popping out. This is sometimes indicating being at a crossroads, um, having to make a really important decision. Look at the doves. One, two, three. Symbols of peace. The dove is. And three white birds really might be very significant as a sign or a synchronicity. And then I've got the white and black again. Who's involved in everything with the octopus? Who's, who's involved with everything? Who's involved with everything? Everyone. <laughs> the, fa the family room. It may be regarding um, being trapped feeling trapped due to uh, just regular responsibilities, possibly. I hope you can see. I think you can see. I mean, it's 19 minutes in, Kim. And then the healing. What about the healing? Oh, oh the child. Um, building your confidence. Building your back, Building your backbone. See every chakra lit there. Um, this could be a child or a spirit child. It could be the beginning of some kind of ma new manifestation for you. There's occupation also on the bottom. It's about doing what you desire and then being really lined up with um, abundance and not lack. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do is pull from the uh, Urban Tarot real quick for your advice from the angels. It's beautiful. 
beautiful message about healing and then going after your desire, rising above, building, boosting your self-confidence, building self-confidence. Okay. Advice from the angels. Find someone to talk to. <laughs> Find someone to talk to. Um, talk to somebody uh, with that Queen of Cups. Look, so we have somebody that is listening to us very intently. That's what they do. They're very therapeutic. Like they're good to talk to, but. Um, and they're compassionate, the Queen of Cups is. Also really intuitive. I don't know, they're an active listener. Makes sense, they're an active listener. And and this is about making those choices that show yourself self-love and compassion if it's not an actual other person. This could be like a therapist or somebody that's involved in getting some kind of power back with the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Because somebody... Um, not usually, I don't usually get this with the boundaries with the Queen of Cups, but I feel like maybe teaching you how to set your boundaries so that you don't just get run in, um, run over so that somebody won't try to, I don't know, there's something about that. I don't know if it's saying rebuild with the Four of Pentacles in the reverse or if it's saying this enter, this advice or energy will help you take your power back. And then we have the Hierophant. Look, there's another, <laughs> it's another dove. There's another dove. You've got one, two, three, four white doves. <laughs> Hierophant. That is um, building your confidence up. You're going towards a high level of commitment and maybe something that also has to do with your own spirituality or religion with, you know, with, with like things that are already established with the churches, with the, that type of spiritual side. Hmm. The Hierophant, high level um, soul contract or commitment. Peace, four doves, peace. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> so not making any more sacrifices and waiting in here like you've waited long enough. You've gotten a really good view of maybe something spiritual and something material. Like you have... Um, a different perspective on how you see also what what you desire what is it that you desire if, if it's, it's stopping the chasing i feel like um and it's coming out of a waiting period where you're no longer having to like chase all the time something new that you desire but nine of wands I'm saying to persevere to not quit and that the time is up on something, like it's time to make a move, make a move, rise above. What are the signs in synchronicity here? Honest on this, what is being shown to Cancer? King of Wands reverse. The areas where we're acting like it's all right, but it's not all right. And the karmic relationships that really need to come to an end because there's a new cycle here and something good is for you. And your sign and synchronicity might be 6-6. Six, six. Um, something is going to be reciprocal payoff. Look, we have abundance under that. Three, <laughs> three of um, cups, celebration, abundance, reunion, family, friends. And this is about going... From a tough time in your mind to calmer waters. Okay, so let's get a time frame for whatever it is that this thing, this new cycle is going to start turning. Or a time frame for this Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> Which is fate, by the way. Fate and luck and all that good stuff. Six weeks. I'll pull one more. And I have 
20 days. The bottom of seven years. And we may be leaving a situation that was seven years. All right. That's what I got. Send you love and light. Bye-bye.